going on everybody and welcome to part 2 of creating chatbot using canvas and sequence to sequence model and we are uh, so far created a list of answers and questions before starting further further in this video one of my viewer asked me a question that okay so one of my viewer asked me a question that every sentence in the list of answer is in the list of questions or you can say every uh, sentence in the question is in the answer yeah that is true but um if you see it carefully then you could see that uh, every sentence is shifted uh, or shifted one step backward from the question list as you could see that here well i thought line is at index one whereas in answer it has index zero so let me explain you through an example so suppose there are two person um, talking with each other suppose first person said hey and then second person replied hi how are you then first person replied fine how about you and then second person i'm good all right now if i want to train my chatbot on this data set now uh, for this as a question this will be the answer right then for this as the question this will be the answer then this as the question this will be the answer Alright, so I hope this makes sense to you. Now we are doing same thing with uh, with this data set. Actually, for this as question, uh, this will be the answer. This as question, this will be the answer, and so on. Actually, it it doesn't matter. Like um, same sentences are in question and answer. We just focus on uh, question and answer at particular index. They should not match with each other. Alright, so I think this would be uh, enough explanation for that. Alright, so in this video, we are going to more pre-process our, um, our list of questions and list of answers. And first of all, let us uh, first pre-process a fixed length of questions. Now our question has a length of like 13, 15, 20, 30 or one two three now that is not good for our um, training purpose so what do we need to uh, take a fixed length like if if the length of question is greater than 13 we will exclude it if the length is less than 13 then we will include it so for that i will uh, copy and paste this code so that it won't take so long i will explain you don't worry about that Alright, so I will name the new list as sorted question and sorted answers. Now what I am doing, I am iterating in the list of questions or you can say I am uh, iterating uh, up to the length of questions so that I may access the index of that particular uh, particular in, uh, value of that question list. Alright now if we are checking if the length of the question at that particular index is less than 13 then we will append it to the question and append answer make sure here it says answer we will append answer of that particular index and question of that particular index to their respective sorted answer and sorted question all right now let us see running it and how it looks like awesome now uh, here are our sorted answers and here are our sorted questions now you could see that uh, first of all there will be length of one then there will be length of two then length of three length of four and so on it is like that okay now we have uh, scaled out the value fixed length of the question now we have to remove the punctuation marks and convert all the capital letters to small letters now for that i will again copy a function and paste it over here now for this purpose we need to import a library or module called re now we have to import re then re stands for uh, regular expression we apply regular expressions to 
our uh, strings then we have our uh, cleaned text so what we are doing i am we are saying if there is short form of i am we will replace it with i am and so on if it is what we will convert this to what is and if there are punctuation marks then we will uh, replace them with nothing inside that particular text and we will return that text now we have to iterate through the uh, list of questions sorted answers and sorted questions and we have to apply this clean text to every word in those list now let us see how we can do that all right so here we go now we have our another list called clean question and clean answers so what we are doing we are um, we are iterating in the sorted questions and sorted answers then we are saying clean question which is newly created list dot append clean text which is the name of this function and we are saying uh, and passing the line which we are iterating using for loop let us run this and see how it performs um we got an error which is clean text oh we didn't define function yet let us define the function now let us run these lines all right so now we have our clean questions and clean answers let's have a look on it so this is clean right now there are no punctuation marks all are in lower case and it is perfect to send into our model training but before wait uh, we need to convert them to integers as you can see that machine learning algorithms and deep learning algorithms require to be to work on integer data set rather than string format so we need to convert them to um, what do we say index or integer values so for this purpose we used to create a vocabulary vocabulary means a uh, vocabulary is a dictionary where uh, there is each and every word which is available in sorted answer sorry in clean answer and clean questions all right so vocabulary contains every word available in this clean answer and clean question list and a, a unique value assigned to that particular word all right so but before we need to do one more thing uh, let me just first copy the code and paste it now we have to do one thing before that which is um, this one all right so all right so wait in clean answers you could see that we have a uh, variable length of question answers whereas our questions have fixed length maximum up to 13 whereas it is not clear in answers so we have to do that step now what we are going to do is to uh, cut out first 11 um, first 11 words from the clean answer list so we are doing same thing iterating through clean answer and doing the same stuff and if i run this and you could see that now we have max length of 11 and less length of one word so now let's proceed further um, creating a vocabulary so let us first delete unused variables all right so now we are only working with these two variables before making the vocabulary we first split out our or first take only fixed length of um answers and questions so we can do that by using uh, simple slicing like this now we would have only thirty thousand values of answers and thirty thousand of questions now we will proceed further uh, in creating a dictionary or vocabulary but before um there would be some words which would have um which would have repeated just a single time or twice or three times some words will be which are most common and some would be names which would be used uh, only some amount of times so we need to um, somehow 
take out those words as we need faster computation in lower memory space so we first we will be creating a dictionary of key as a word word as a key and value will be the count of that word so we could do that by using this trick right here so we are creating word to count dictionary and we are iterating in clean questions and clean answers and in that clean question we are splitting it splitting that uh, particular particular index value into words and then we are checking if the word is not in this dictionary we will add that word to this dictionary and we will specify the value as one whereas if that word is already available we will increment the count and we are doing same as clean answers and we are appending to same dictionary let us run this and see how does that looks like so as you could see the length is 15843 it is quite big for uh, a cheap laptop or cheap computer or even if it is uh, too much if you run this on kaggle server so we need to um, remove the irrelevant words so as you could see it is just count as 2 and it is 32 and uh, here it is tonic now there are some words which we don't even uh, which we will don't even use while talking to our chatbot so we need them to filter out so first of all we will specify the threshold value so i am saying if the word count is less than 5 remove that and if it is greater than 5 take it so I am creating a vocabulary and I am saying if the word has count greater than 5 store that in vocabulary and assign a unique value to that particular word which I have already explained what is vocabulary. So I am iterating in the dictionary which we have just created and in that I am checking if count is greater than threshold append that value to particular key in the vocabulary and um, increment the value of word num as 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 we need to assign a unique value to it let us run and let us have a look how does it looks like so here we have reduced the size of 3023 and previously it was 15000 so you could see how fast it will be to train this on our kaggle server or even on our laptop so this is our dictionary where uh, this word is a key and this is unique value assigned to them now let me explain you some more concepts let us get rid of this and um, so think of like our answer is hi now what we will uh, we will not just directly feed in hi to our decoder model what we need to feed in a unique token which which uh, signifies start of string and a unique token which signifies end of string so we have to do this for every question or every answer in the in the clean answer list we have to append sos and eos token to them we are not doing uh, in case of answers because we will uh, pass the question to the chatbot whereas answer is something which will be predicted by our chatbot so it is quite easy to do we will iterate in the list uh, list of clean answer using the for loop and we will be saying at that particular index and sos plus that value and eos let us run this and see how does it looks like all right so here you can see sos the thing is cameron i am at mercy and eos all right so it is it is perfect all right now we have to uh, append these tokens to our vocabulary because these are also a string and as i have explained deep learning do not expect string as input so that is also quite easy to do actually we will have tokens eos and sos 
and what does it pad mean uh, i will explain it later but for now pad means um, if the length of sentence is one we will add padded words to it to make it fixed length and we will do this for every sentence in the list of questions and answers and we will have fixed length of questions and answers and out means if that word is not in our vocabulary then we will um, append the out token to that so let us run it and append these tokens to our vocabulary all right so now we have appended words or tokens to our vocabulary now we have to do one last thing our padding uh, usually signified by zero in the um, in the integer form when we pass it to decoder so we have to assign padding a zero value and on our uh, index zero or value zero there is a word called cameron so we have to say that cameron value will be replaced by pad value and pad will be zero now we have to inverse this dictionary let's do it quickly that is again quite easy to do let us first get rid of unused variables all right so it is quite easy to create inverse dictionary we will be saying w as key and v as value for vw in vocab dot items just reversing everything now we have our inverse dictionary or inverse vocabulary and our vocabulary and that is it for for this video and in the next video we most hopefully complete all the pre-processing part and after that we will build sequence to sequence by lstm model and this video already took around 18 19 minutes now i have to end this right here and before ending this video i would request you to like the video subscribe to my channel